tithe will return tithes, offerings of sinful members. God does not need their money. Pastor Kumui says, General Superintendent of the Deeper Life Christian Life Ministry, Pastor Williams Kumui, has stated that God does not need the offering of a sinner, hence his decision to return the tithe and offering of those not born again. He stated this while addressing his members at the church headquarters in Lagos on the topic of holiness. Pastor Kumi stressed that sinners who have refused to repent but support church with their money are wasting their resources. Deeper Life Pastor, Pastor Kumuyi, was and warns against calls for Nigerians of breakup, stressing on the importance of living a holy life. Kumuyi said that God does not need a sinner's money. He maintained that it is pointless for a sinner to pay tithe and offering in the church. If you are a sinner here, God does not need your money. All the money you are giving in this church does not go to God. You are just wasting your time and money. As a matter of fact, if I know the members of sinners here in the church and how much they give or they give us tithe and offering, I will remove it and give it back to them. But God does not need this money and the church does not need it as well. Kumu says, source to your la response. <laughs> hey, I don't know what to say. You can imagine. Pastor Kumui, if you mean what you say about sinners or offering and sight, that means that you'll be alone in the church. You don't need to judge. Even if you don't want to collect the tithe or you want you want to say this kind of a thing to uh, an unbeliever, you don't need to let it out. So just say it aggressively. The, the way you do it, you can sit the person down. Make sure you close to that person. Make sure your closeness to that person uh, 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 warrants the way you interact. You preach to the person to get born again. You make the person know know Christ, and tell the person to be patient. Even if you are, if you, even if you don't want to collect the money, don't tell the person you're not collecting. But person, you're wasting your time for paying your tithe or offering. No, they don't do things like that. As a man of God, as a spirit fit man, you don't push people away. Look at Jesus when he was preaching to the to the to the whole world, not to the people. In, uh, in the in synagogue. Did he drive every one of them away? When the unbelievers came, he brought them close to God. He preached to them to know Christ, to know Jesus, to know God. And some of them, they accepted and all of that. He never chased them out. So why will a man of God, a spiritual man of God, say this kind of a thing? That means if you tell a, a sinner this kind of a thing, he will not come to your church again. That is it. And God will be angry with you. God say, call men to my house. Draw men to my house. You preach to them. Now you are trying to say that, okay, since they are sinners, they don't need to go to church. They don't need to come to your church. Why would they come to your church? There's a way you do it. You preach to them, and they get born again. And they know the importance of being born again. And from there, they know the, they know the importance of tent, of tithe. But if you refuse to give them that chance, Forget it. God will not be happy with you. That's it. No need to criticize anybody as a man of God. I don't expect this from Pastor Kumi at all. You can imagine. We can imagine. If you keep saying this, if you keep stopping them, you, it means that you will be alone in the church. You'll be alone in the church all because so many of your church big men are foster, uh, fosters, they are dupers. They are sinners. He says sinners. I'm not even saying that. He's not even talking about those that are, that are not born again. They are all sinners. Are you not a sinner? Nobody has not come in this world except God. 
and our savior. The whole human being, you must tell one or two lies. You're not perfect, but so can we. You're also a sinner. Who's the Bible says that whosoever that says he or she is not a sinner is a liar. I committed a big sin. It's a big liar. So forget it. But so can we. What you're saying is not, it doesn't make sense to me. Is there any sinner that brings his or her tie to the church will not be accepted? And we take him back to the person. You're a big sinner. You have committed sin for saying that. Pastor Kumuyi. That is it. You have committed a big sin. You can imagine. Forget it. Nobody will come to your church. So, as I, as I was saying before, some big men are fosters who are, uh, 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 who are uh, pro uh, proprietors. They are proprietors of private schools. Ask them how many months they hold their teachers' salaries. Is that not a sin? How many times they embezzle the teachers' cooperative money without pay? How they deprive their teachers during the lockdown? Again, you can see how uh, uh, the, 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 the dear you are prostituting, prostituting, apostulating now, sorry. It is because you have made enough money that you're seeing all this. You have made enough money to build all you possess as a whole. So proprietor of your minister, or you are just waking up to reality now. You can imagine, okay, now you are telling me that if worry give you a huge amount of money to, to support your ministry, won't you collect it? Is Bari not a sinner? I'm not just defying anybody, I'm not telling anybody. Eating the way Bari is neglecting people, the Nigerian citizens, and making, their, making them lose their lives and property. He has committed a sin, so won't you collect it? So forget everything you're saying. Your wife is also a sinner. Your children are sinners. Are you saying that? Oh, your children brings money to church for you reject it because you don't know because you know them because they are your children. No party is not a sinner in this world. You just need to take the grace of God to be perfect. And if you want to, if I want to say such a thing, I want to preach about about uh, uh, on, on this kind of issue, you don't just criticize. You don't criticize someone is a sin. And you know that in the word of God. You can imagine. You know that. You yourself. How many poor members of your ministry have you helped? How many? How many eh, 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 indigenous members? Children of your children attend your schools or your church schools and you say how many have you helped? It is easy said that it is easier said than done. It's just said. Then done. God is there watching. As you're saying, God is just laughing at you. But you are also a big sinner. I'm not criticizing anybody, but that is it. Nobody will say he has not committed sin or has not lied or do things that is not, that is not worthy. So that, that is worthy of God's emulation. That is it. So viewers, with what Pastor Kumi have just said, what is your take on this? Please, quickly drop your comment below the comment box. Thank you.